Hi, I'm Mark Dice, and welcome to an all-new Let's Play. Um, okay, well, this one isn't working. Hi, I'm Mark Dice, and welcome to an all-new Let's Play. Uh, more duds. Let's hope this one actually works. Or is something that's tolerable to play. Got a lot of really stinky ones recently. I mean, Lord of the Rings is pretty bomb, but... Mm. This one already looks like it's a... Oh, how do you have a puzzle mode? Oh god, I have to individual press? Annoying. Jeez. Damn you, fake ones. This game is terrible. Ugh. Damn it. The controls are so awkward. Whatever, I beat it. No, I said down, damn it. Okay, this is just. I totally did not hit that one. Furry flattener. At least I'm getting better at it. Mulmageddon? Screw you. Alright, this game is pretty... special. Uh, okay. Screw you. I clearly pressed diagonally down. Uh, I'm sure this game's excitement lasts for about 12 seconds. Because I'm already getting kind of bored of this. I mean, with a touchscreen, this wouldn't be so bad, but you'd probably jam a hole through your touchscreen. Not saying that someone should make this for DS. This is a game that should not exist. I mean, it's a little too fast for how crappy the controls are. Like, the cursor floats for a little too long. See, that's kind of at least inventive.
I got fingers of justice. Like a StarCraft player. Okay. Damn it. Stop hitting the squishy ones. Those rock ones I own. No. Uh. Face the repetitive nature of this gameplay. <sighs> I might try puzzle mode. Because this is getting. Screw you. Yeah, this game definitely needs a touchscreen or something. You could release this on the iPhone and it would actually be interesting. Yeah, not, not very hard. The biggest difficulty is getting used to the controls, but other than that, it's not bad. At least they changed up the map. And the god awful music from earlier. Preemptively hit that one. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Got like carpal tunnel from playing this game. Ah. Note to self, don't hit bombs. It's kind of hoping the bomb would just blow up and hit everything. Every time that cursor, that freaking timer gets low, it makes me like. Rah, rah, rah. I mean, that's essentially what it should do. It should make me panic a little bit. I mean, there are so few times I actually use like turbo in games. I've like adjusted to using. Like, being able to tap my finger very quickly. I mean, I played a lot of MMA games, and playing Bayonetta will certainly teach you the fastest way to tap your finger. Especially when you do, like, her freaking demon moves. Like, where you have to, like, rapidly tap circle as fast as you can. I'm pretty sure my first PS3 controller is broken just from playing that game. This is actually easier than the 
police not shooting gallery. But in that, you had to press like three different buttons just to get to move on. Oops. Did that mean to hit him? Oops. Yeah, without the rapid press stone guys, it's not quite as bad. The stone moles? I beasted it through that one. No, windows! Screwing me up. Uh, I'm actually looking right now for another copy of Windows 7 because this one is just pissing me off. And, uh. Oh. Um. I can get, like, a student copy. That's obviously, like, not been used or whatever because it's just honestly pissing me off so much. Like, for some reason, Windows is just effing stupid. Ew. I just like snagged my finger on my other fingernail while I was like rapid tapping. I know I keep bitching about it all the time, but it really is frustrating when you're trying to get, like, anything done. And, like, if I'm, like, playing a game, sometimes it'll just cut out of the game. Okay, apparently I'm not supposed to hit that. Oops. Alright, at least this game is, like, mildly entertaining, but it's kind of repetitive. And by kind of, I mean super kind of repetitive. There's really not much of a difference between... Uh, pressing diagonals and pressing down. It's literally, like, half a, like, movement of my finger. Ah. For some reason, I just want to hit those stuffed ones. I mean, I imagine this to be a lot more atrocious than it was, so... I mean, at least it's a time waster. That's right, I'm a beast. I think it's like not registering when I press at a certain speed. I think my controller only senses so many hits. Because I was tapping that like a boss. Like a boss. Don't know what the point of the Frankensteins is. Just 
screw you. Screw you! Hate those stupid stuffed ones. I guess I just really want to hit them. Ah, <sighs> not very exciting. I should talk about something more interesting. Oh, yeah. We usually shop at World Market because they have really frickin' good coffee. Uh, it's a little expensive, but I mean, if you really like coffee, it's one of the few places that doesn't sell crap coffee. And by crap coffee, I mean like Starbucks, burnt taste in coffee. I, mean, I don't like any of that. Um, but, I don't know. Um, so, uh, we always go to World Market and usually get like vanilla bean or their turtle toffee coffee or whatever. Um, get all sorts of weird stuff. Is this the Blind King? Um, Uh, so we usually get that, and, you know, they taste good. I mean, I like the taste of coffee, but, uh... Um... Dude, I keep... I was, like, constantly hitting those squeaky ones. Um, I just really like their flavor of coffee, because it, it actually has a good flavor, and I miss Wawa coffee and PA. Um... But, uh... Ugh. curse you. Uh, anyway, they have, uh, these little illy coffee drinks, ugh, that are goddamn amazing. Screw you! Oh, I made it. Um, but illy is really good, and it's, like, imported or whatever. It's probably not the best coffee in Europe, but... It's probably like their equivalent Starbucks. But, uh, they have these huge things of the espresso ones, and we decided to mix it with vanilla bean coffee. Oh my god. Having that this morning really helps wake you up. Um. Tense moment. Um, so anyway, uh, we did it, and vanilla bean and illy espresso. Espresso is fucking tasty as hell. There's like orgasm in my cup. I'll probably be up all night, but I'm fine with that. I still get messed up whenever I miss a mole. Fuck yeah. But, uh, I don't know. If you ever get a chance to find some of the Illy Espresso, like, ground, because they have these huge tins of them. God, how many stages are there? Damn it. Alright. I don't know how much more of this I'm going to play. But, I don't know, if you ever get a chance to do it, do it. And if you really like good coffee, go to World Market. Their coffee's good as hell. The rest of their stuff is kind of like, hippie stuff. But, still pretty damn good. You. Uh, 
Uh, can this just be over? You know what? Uh, I've had enough of this. My thumb can't take much more punishment of that. Um, and also, I actually need to talk and stop saying um, because I say that all the goddamn time. I also got some monster. Tasty. The little nitrous one. Oh, what the hell is it called? Anti gravity? Mmm, tasty. No, I'm not playing tic tac toe against a computer. Oh, this is like nasty. Fuck you! I hate these puzzles. God damn you! I'm totally gonna fail this. I'm not good at esoteric puzzling. Alright, he's all the way around. I hate you. God damn it, this puzzle sucks! Because they're random. Curse you! This is an infinite loop of stupid, isn't it? I'm just gonna be stuck doing this forever. This is purgatory. Gamers, purgatory. Curse you. Yeah, this this is hell. Oh, I should have tapped that one. God damn it. Alright, you know, I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm done. I'm done. I've had enough whack-a-mole. I've already played almost a half an hour of whack-a-mole, and my thumb is angry at me. So, I mean, overall, this is a good game if you're looking for a little action-y, quick arcade game and you don't mind whack-a-mole. I mean, really, it is just like one of those, like, like shooting sims, like in Snatcher or Police Knots. Just less mobile. I think it's more like the Snatcher one, because I think the Snatcher one is just nine tiles. Yeah. Ah, tasty. So, that's all for Let's Play Whack-A-Mole with me, Mark Dice. See you later.